Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to I haven't said this in a long time RPG Maker VSA video tutorials. And in this episode, I'm going to be answering a question by Paper Creeps. The question being that he can't um equip anything after making it. Um, and basically, to fix this is very simple. Um, okay, before I actually get into it, let's go ahead and make a brand new sword, and I'm gonna call it this new sword. And let's go through the regular motions of making a sword. Um, slash physical price. Let's make this that much. Um, attack. Let's go ahead and make this godly and put nine 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 nine. Okay, you have now made your sword, and an important part after making your sword is the weapon type. So the weapon type determines um. Um, it's uh, basically just groups the weapons in a type So you can make it a sword you can make it a bow you can make it a claw or you can make your own weapon types You could do that simply by going to Terms and then changing it right here Right here. So basically let's go back So we've made this sword. Let's make this sword not a, into a into a weapon But I mean to a sword. Let's make it into a bow and let's go back to our actors now to make the actor to allow the actor to be able to equip this new sword that we made right now as you can see um this actor can't equip swords but if you got if you just received the um sword that we just made in your inventory your actor cannot equip it and then to equip it all you have to i mean to allow your character actor to be able to equip it all you have to do is go to edit edit then go to equip and then go to equip weapon and then you pick the weapon type that you want, which in this case is a bow, although we made a sword, which is a weapon type of a bow. So now this actor can now equip swords and bows, now making it able to equip this new sword that we made, which is a bow. Um, if you're using the default battle system, the weapon type that you pick won't actually matter or affect anything. The only difference is like you're making a, like, let's say you have a side view battle system that uses like, if you're, if the weapon is a bow, then it's like a range thingy, but if you're using the default battle system, it wouldn't really affect it, but you can make your own as well. And I'm using the bow as an example, but if you're making this sword, you will obviously put it as a sword. Um, actor, and also, this is the same way, if you want to equip an armor, you also go here, equip armor, and then pick the um, armor type you want. And also, you could have multiple weapon types that the that, that the actor could um, use, and you could also have multiple armors that the actor can use. Also, if you have multiple actors into in one class, let's say you have multiple classes, and you have like three actors in that one class, instead of coming here and doing it manually, and you want the class to be like a unified, to be able to use the same kind of weapons, all you have to do is go to class, and then you get the same options of um, weapon type and armor type. And then you pick the ones you want. And then every actor in that class will be able to use that. And that's how you uh, make your weapons and armors equipable in game. And I hope this video helped you. If you have any more questions, please leave them in the comment or PM me. And I will be glad to help you with a video or just respond to your comments or PMs. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode.